Hi, I'm Dan, and this is Morton. Hi. And we're here today to tell you about the new LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor Set. This is something we've been working on for a really long time, and we can't wait to show you all the cool models and play features that we have in the set. We have a brand new app with new code and control possibilities for your LEGO Mindstorms, with 50 activities for all five robots that you see here. The five models that we have in the set are Tricky, Charlie, Blast, MVP, and Chilo. And we'll give you a sneak peek behind the scenes of the design process for all five of these models. This is Blast. It's got four motors and a hub for the head. And with one motor, it can control both arm movements and head movement. It's got a spare motor that you can put all different kinds of functions on. We got to know that the kids would like for it to have many different functions that you can swap out. So it also has this grabber. So it can go around and grab stuff. And it also comes with a hammer and a punching glove. Right now, I'm gonna show an activity using the blaster. It's called Guard My Room, and it's right here on the app. So right now, Blast is scanning a perimeter, and if you get close, it will fire the blasters. One of my other favorite features about Blast is you can open the chest plate, and you can see the differential and the gears inside turning as it does its actions. Next up, I'd like to introduce MVP. It stands for Modular Vehicle Platform. It's a remote controlled vehicle, which you can control with your phone or even a game controller. Right now, we have attached the crane, and I think Dan wants to give a little demo of it in action. So to remote control MVP, we have the remote control builder in the app, and you can see here the different modules that we have to control the vehicle. This is fully customizable, so you can change the color, but also the function, the layout. So this has all the functions to uh, control the crane. So let's see if I can get the little crate off the top of the table here. So let's just back it up. Let's line it up and let's extend the crane out. No pressure. Almost. Yes. Success. We bring it in and off we drive. So as Morton said, one of the really cool things about MVP is it's a modular vehicle platform, which means you can take the extensions that we have built here and you can rebuild them into something else. So this is the crane that just removing two pins and disconnecting the motors and sensors, you're back to the base unit. So then you can take the motors and elements you have here and rebuild them into something else. So Morton has rebuilt this into a shooter. Thanks, Thanks Morton. And this just slots in, and then you connect up the cables, change your code, and you're ready to go with a brand new model. And the really cool thing is, this is a platform then that you can build your own creations on. We've made a few in the app, and Morton's got a couple of others that he's made. Yes. This is the Brick Eater, which basically harvests bricks, so you can drive it around your room to clean up after uh, when you're building Lego. A little off-roader here, a buggy, which you can control and drive around your house. We really love the MVP. There's so much play here, and also so much potential to build your own models. Next up, we have Tricky, the sporty sports spot that uh, plays sports. It began its life as a Maze Runner robot, but then one day, Dan came in with a Lego Duplo Ball and said, sports. Thank you. And we got to thinking of how can we make this little robot play as many sports as possible. So right now, I'm gonna show you the basketball activity. Yes! So here we have a lineup of all the versions of Tricky that you can do. This is the base driving model. Here we have the soccer model with a little kicker. So you can play soccer with it. The basketball version we just showed you. And here we have the bowling version where you can put in the little Lego Duplo ball here and it can play bowling. You can even make it spin the ball if you attach this spinner attachment. And finally, we have the pen attachment so you turn it into a drawing robot. It's the first Lego set to ever contain elements from all three Lego building systems. Lego Duplo, Lego System and Lego Tenic. And we think that's pretty cool. So next up is Charlie, and this is the little small helper or assistant robot. It's a really cute little robot that uses a lot of awesome animations and sounds to really bring it to life. Also with a robot like this, there are loads of elements left over in the set once you've built it to build all sorts of accessories, extensions, and really cool things. And we definitely had a lot of fun designing and coming up with things like a shopping cart, because which little robot doesn't need a shopping cart? We made a ski board, which is a cross between a uh, skateboard and skis because uh, it looks like a skateboard, but in order for Charlie to move, Charlie has to sit on it and then use ski poles to get anywhere. And it's really stupid, it's really silly, but it's also really fun and we had great fun building this. And then finally, we also have a drum kit that we've made. 
And we really think Charlie is a pretty cool drummer. As Dan said, Charlie is very easy to, uh, to animate, create new faces and even voices. But my uh, favorite part is that he has this secret little hatch where he can hide little surprises. So he has a little dog. So Charlie is a cute little robot full of surprises. Last, and definitely not least, we have Gilo. And this is this incredible walking base robot that uses four motors to operate the legs all independently. The mechanism is, is incredible, and I can say that because I didn't actually make it, and neither did Morton. <laughs> we, uh, we, we started with the idea, and I built one, and it kind of worked. Morton built another one, and it wasn't, it wasn't better. It was <laughs> different. And so we said, well, we, we need some help here. And I thought, what we need to do is we need to get our top designer on here. And this guy, Yern, has been at LEGO since 1987. He has been making incredible LEGO products for decades. And we gave him the problem that we had. Uh, he goes and thinks about it for a weekend and comes back and there it is, the solution. So it all worked out pretty well. Hey. 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 He did it. He did it. He undid it. Gilo can walk, run, avoid obstacles and do all kinds of tricks. We try to make it a little bit more mechanical looking by putting the sensor sideways down the front and then sort of adding some of these detailed panels around the side to give it this nice angular look. It's not a pet, okay? Unless you program it to be. So that's the brand new LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor set. We had great fun making this product. We've also had great fun explaining to you a little bit of the design process that went behind creating these five awesome models. So we can't wait for you to get your hands on it to build, code, and play with this awesome Mindstorms experience.